Hey guys, this is Michaela, and now I will be explaining the two types of variables that describe data that is collected. The two types of variables are categorical and continuous. Categorical variables, also known as qualitative variables, are variables that take on a fixed number of variables. These variables have two or more categories. These differ from continuous variables because there is no in-between factor in these. They're like a fixed amount. So for example, we have gender. Gender comes in two categories, male or female. We also have brands of chips. You can't have a half sun chip, half Lay's chip. It doesn't make sense. You have to have a specific chip that you are eating. The last example is sports. You could play um, football, soccer, basketball, or baseball. These are all categories. They're not continuous. Continuous variables can take on any numerical value. These numbers don't have to be simply integer values, but it can take on values in between those integers. For example, we have height. For height, you don't have to be 3 foot 5 inches exactly. You can be 3 foot 5 inches and a quarter, for example. So age is another example. You don't have to be just 10 years old. You can be 10 years old, 9 months, 2 weeks, and 4 days old. And that's why these are continuous. So after collecting your data, you should now know if your data is categorical or continuous. So if we only wanted to take one measurement from each object or subject, this would be called univariate data. An example of this is finding the mass of fish. You are finding only the mass, and that's the only measurement that you are measuring. Bivariate data is when you have two measurements on each subject or object, such as this graph, where we compare grip strength to arm strength for the same person. And just a heads up, this graph right here to the right would not be graded very well on the AP test because it does not have a title. Every graph must include a title, axis titles, and units. Just saying.